Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Star of Acre, uh, starring Matt Smith. It's a horror movie, and it also stars Galadriel from Rings of Power. What's it about? Not really sure. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. The link's in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's The Pineys, books 1 through 14. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Uh, and it's from the writer and director of Apost Apostasy. Joan. Joan. Interrupting, Joan. Here you go. Joan, you're interrupting. Uh, I have to thank, before I deal with you, I have to thank everybody who came out today for the Dover Comic Con in Dover, Delaware. I have to special shout out to the woman who ran the thing because... I don't know what happened. There was apparently a mix-up, and I wasn't uh, wasn't supposed to be there, I guess. I didn't get my table confirmed or something. I don't know. I, I got to do an investigation on my own end, but uh, thank, thank you for making the accommodation and letting me stay. Uh, anyhow, Matt Smith is the father, and uh, Galadriel is the mother of a, a little boy who I think either dies or is dying or got hurt. It doesn't really, doesn't really make clear. I mean, here he is, there. Um, there are scenes with him, but it says a descent into madness. So I think it may be that the child died, and they're not dealing with it well, especially Matt Smith. And then they would say to Galadriel, you know, what's he doing? He's crazy. He's locking himself in his room. Uh, Mordred Clark is her name. I can never remember that name. I always want to say Modred for some reason. And uh, basically he goes crazy because it's like a study in madness. But I'm not sure why he goes crazy. It doesn't really make it clear. So Daniel Cototajlo. Daniel Coco Tajlo. I think I got it closer that time. So, is it any good? I, I don't know. This trailer is two and a half minutes of many different scenes. Scenes you would see in a horror movie. And that's about all I can tell you. I, I don't know if the kid is dead, alive, or just possessed, or neither. <laughs> I don't know why Matt Smith goes crazy. I assume it's that. Uh, I don't know if Galadriel stands up to him, and or maybe she goes crazy. I don't know. <laughs> From the executive producer of The Zone of Interest and Maxine. I mean, why don't you tell us something about the story? Other than they're a couple. And Matt Smith might be a writer. He might not be a writer. He might just be a guy who lives on a farm and does some writing. And then this other character's in it. I, You know, fantastically enigmatic horror film. How about confusing? I don't know. It, it mentions a folktale. It shows these etchings. But that's about it. You tell me. Watch the damn thing. And you, Can anybody tell me what this thing's about? And if you say, well, it was in the description and it's in uh, Wikipedia. What? What's the purpose of the trailer? If I got to go to Wikipedia and, uh, or this, or the description to figure it out, like, shouldn't that be clear in the trailer? Or at least mentioned? So, I guess they're banking on the star power of the two leads. I mean, Matt Smith has somewhat of a following, I guess. Uh, he's doing well with House of the Dragon. He used to be Doctor Who. I don't know about uh, Galadriel here. She isn't exactly uh, burning up the charts with Rings of Power. So, you know, it doesn't take much to just tell us. There's got to be one line in the movie that seems to indicate what the hell's going on. Or maybe some of the events in the movie. Like, did the kid die? It's usually a downer of a movie, by the way. I've said before, you know... Uh, I had a friend, and he told me he was the biggest horror fan in the world. And then he had a kid, and he he can't watch a lot of hard stuff anymore. He just he said it upsets me too much. I just won't watch it. 
So it's not, a, and this sort of sums up the trailer for me. I'm watching it going, when, what is this? <laughs> ah, I don't know. You know, and it, and the trailer has good music, has some elements of horror, but I don't know what it is. Is it a ghost? Is it a vampire? Is it, is it a, is it a something unsaid? Like, something I, I give us something I, I don't know let's read the right I, I couldn't give you the three act structure I, I don't know first act they move into a house maybe their kid has a problem and then he dies and then the second act's them dealing with it Matt's get Matt Smith goes crazy the wife finds out about it about halfway through the second act after denying it and then by the end of the movie, she's running around a hedge maze in the winter while Matt Smith freezes to death with an axe in his hand. I mean, might as well. I worked once before. Uh, an idyllic royal family life of a couple was thrown into turmoil when their son starts acting out of character. Okay, so he's not dead? An idyllic royal family life of a couple... Man, that's a clunky way to word that. It's thrown into turmoil when their son starts acting out of character. You couldn't give us a little more than that? Why? How about when the son starts acting strange, uh, it impacts the relationship of the mother and father to the point at which it may drive one of them crazy. Like, entice us with some possibility here. So would I go to see this? Ah, no. No, I would not. You would have to do quite a song and dance to get me into this theater. You'd have to say, oh no, I saw it. It's 100%. I know the trailer is terrible, but trust me, the movie's good. Like, you'd have to lay it out that clearly to me for me to go, okay, maybe I'll give it a chance. But I'm not even interested in streaming this thing if it comes my way. I'm just going to be like, I don't know what the hell this movie is. You, it would have to win, I don't know, tons of awards and people would have to be talking about it night and day and then maybe I'd go, oh, okay, it's just a bad trailer. I mean, bad trailer. 100% bad trailer in my view. Not selling me at all. Not, I don't know who it would sell. You, you watch it and you tell me. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on all our various links, Odyssey, Bitchoot, Rumble, uh, thanks to all came out at the Dover Comic Con. It was a really good day. Bit tiring. Bit tiring for me. All right. It was a long drive. Long drive. Tomorrow I'll be at the Tom's River Elks Lodge show. This is the 10th anniversary, so it's a big show. Come on out, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.